Guys, welcome back to The Walking Dead, A New Frontier. We are on episode number four here called Thicker Than Water. And uh, when community is threatened from within, Javi manages on manage manages, sorry, unlikely alliances for the safety of of ones. So yeah, we uh quite interesting to see what happens here. Um obviously we tried to sneak out with um I can't even think of David's wife's name now. We tried to sneak out with her and David found out and then it was all kicking off with the uh, leader of the New Frontier because we found out that she had been doing dodgy deals and um, she was really pulling the strings behind the scenes and David was a bit shocked and we confronted her and then David wasn't happy that we was trying to escape and um, if I remember rightly, she got away. Her name, her name will come back to me in a minute. Um, she got away, but we got captured. Uh, obviously, we don't know what's happened to Clem because uh, Clem was um, given the impression that AJ was still alive, and I think she went off to try and find AJ. But uh, all right, without further ado, let's jump in to episode number four: Walking Dead, a new frontier. Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! Clem. I almost want to replay that bit of the game just to see if I don't give AJ the shot whether or not he survives or not. That'd be quite... Uh, Interesting to find out. Was you, it the shot that saved him? You if he's still alive, of course. Guts out. <laughs> Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. I'm, I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. <sighs> Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe. Okay. Not so. tuck your tail and run. This is not over, Joan. I have friends here. Allies. All right, then. Well, this ain't no zombie apocalypse. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? 
Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey, man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man, thank you! That would be nice, right? Even if we aren't playing baseball anymore. Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no, no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. Oh, Just your wow. name is fine. D don't date it or anything. <sighs> Screw you, kid. What the hell is this? You want to make money? Get a job. <sighs> Whatever. You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. What's the point when they've been booted? <laughs> well, it's out of here. Holy cow. You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? Put some money on it? Kind of, that was like his you know career, and he's good at, like, playing baseball. I still baseball. can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Garcia's on fire. I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot, but I do, and I'm good at it. Oh, fuck. You gotta shut up. Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Don't blame that on me. Gotta pay attention. Oh, the batting cage is serious business. You're about the last person who should be telling people about serious business, Hoppy. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, jealous much? Let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Oh my god, the crowd is going wild. I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. David. David, what's wrong? Come back. I came here to reconnect. Instead, you just want to show me up. Wow, I can't help it that like, I'm better than you or something, but geez, like in, in the flip side of that, you're talking about going down the shooting range, even though um, Javi can't do shooting. I'm sure you would be exactly the same, David, um, if, you know, we was at the shooting range and I was like missing everything and you was like on point with everything so man this guy is um this guy our sore loser big sore loser jeez what's going on David I, I don't understand you don't understand because you only think about yourself and I'm sick of it it's been that way for years you've always been looking out for yourself I'm just I'm sick of your attitude, David. You love to mock me. But you have no idea what I deal with. My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Last time you deployed, you didn't have kids. So, whatever you do now, you gotta put them first. I am putting them first. That's why I have to leave. Oh wow, he's gonna run out on me. Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. No, the kids are too young for you to leave them. You gotta be around to, you know, coach them on stuff. What the hell do you know about raising children, Javi? I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. 
You can help, right? So he was going to bail on him, bail on the, his family, yet when we showed up with the new frontier, he was like, oh, Cade, I love you. I want to be with you. Blah, 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 blah. It's, um, maybe it's taken the zombie apocalypse for him to actually realize what he's got and the thought of actually losing what he's got has kind of like changed him around, uh, changed his mind and made him sort of like come around almost. Clearly at this point in his life, he doesn't care about um, his wife or kids. Um, yeah, it's definitely before everything started. Probably, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if like even in the TV show, whether or not the whole... Um, so I've never watched The Walking Dead all the way through. I've only watched like the first couple of seasons, I think. Um, I, don't, I don't even know in the show if it's ever revealed how it all started. But um, yeah, it would definitely be interesting to um, sort of get more insight on that for sure. You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. It's your uh, man family, up, man. David, not mine. Man up. You gotta stay here to help them. Typical selfish. How is it selfish, you don't David? Know shit about family. Come on. I want to get out of here now. How is that being selfish? When he's telling you you're the one that's got to stay and you're the one that's got to look after your family, not me. Jeez. Like, David's got, like, some serious problems. Get in there, you two. Joan's gonna figure out what to do with you. She's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you tried to attack her. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them and that's your mistake. Cheers, right Mike. There. You can't fight Thanks, buddy. everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just Pretty wants well. order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this, but you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. You do anything she tells you to do, huh? Go along with whatever she says just to keep your place. It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. She needs all our help to keep this place safe. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. Seems like everyone's under Joan's thumb. Jeez. Yeah, we're playing really well though at the minute, Mike. The best That's I've ever seen you win. the national team That's play, I think. Saved your asses. This is how you treat my first like major tournament final in my lifetime lies. as well, so. It was too risky to stay. I was trying to keep Kate safe. I had a plan for that. You fucked it up. Do you see what Joan's doing? This is a power grab, pure and simple. I could have found a way to protect all of you. But now? Now you're all on your own. Wow, he's gonna walk out on us again. You gotta still have some friends here, right? She managed to flip Clint and Lingard to her side somehow. Without them, it's hopeless. It's everyone out for themselves these days. Hey, we can still win this. You and me together should be able to take down some punk ass soldiers. <laughs> you are so goddamn naive, Javi. We're outnumbered here. I could be far away from here. There are other communities out there. You can't give up. Gabe didn't give up on you. And Kate? I said, what about Kate? You gave up on Kate years ago. You left us waiting. Cheers, Mike. The world fell apart. She didn't forget it. Shut up! <laughs> you're dead to me. I'll if we get that. out of here, you're on your own. I'm through with you. Good night, buddy. This is really what you want to be doing right now? Seriously? That's fine with me. You always wore a fucking pussy. <laughs> Typical brothers. Fighting like boys. You bitch. I fucking trusted you! Careful! Wow. Don't give him a concussion. Gone to the face. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> but I'll 
like what you're trying to do. It's sad how we ended up here. But Clinton Lingard agree. You've become a problem. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. Apart from you then, Joan, I know right? the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. Your scheme is gonna blow up in your face. You just wait. I really hope not. I'm responsible for the lives of everyone in this community. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. Bullshit! I understand you're angry with me, but let's talk about it in private. Bring him with us. Screw this. Gotta get out of here. Still don't trust David, you know. Still don't trust David. No time to rest. Not like a spring or something I can take out of. That doesn't look very sturdy. Have a shower. Oh, yeah. Well, or not? That's about the kind of day I'm having. <laughs> Body. Uh, nothing useful here. Could squeeze through there. We not use the pipe to kind of give me that open. Hmm. I'm not going to get up there from this bench. Could you not like drag it across? It's not gonna be open, right? <sighs> Locked. I'm not getting out through here. They use the pipe on this door, though. <sighs> That's not gonna work. All right, so maybe I can get the stool. Get the stool now, maybe. Yeah. I don't know why you kind of just move that bench though, David. It's like right next to the lockers, though. Javi. Kate. Hey, Kate. I wasn't sure how I was going to find you. Then I heard the glass breaking. You're alive. For now, you escaped the guards. Barely. We gotta get you out of here. Take this. Help me pry these bars off. <clears throat> Shit. Give it a push from your side. Come on. Those big muscles. Thanks, Kate. Now, give me a hand. By the way, like Kate heard the glass smashing, but nobody else like did that was in the vicinity and meant to be on guard. Hey. Here, walkers. What's all that noise? It's a herd. They've got this place surrounded. Come on. This way.
are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. Gabe's there with the others. We've been hiding out there. For as long as we can, anyway. How safe is it? It's not mentioned Eleanor, because uh, obviously enough, we've got a bit of a love interest here with Kate, so... As soon as we, can. we don't want to say that, we probably um, keep moving. Big Eleanor up. Make it seem like we've got a love interest with her. Kate Where might not like appreciate that. Oh, they're around. I had some close calls on my way to find you. Almost got caught. But I got lucky. You must be feeling better if you're sneaking around like this. I'm not, really. But I'll get my rest when we're safe. All clear. Come on. Uh, that sounds like a lot of zombies. I saw them take David from the quarantine building. Yeah. How's he doing? I can't same old, be his same wife old. anymore. But he doesn't deserve to be locked away. I didn't tell him anything about how you feel. He's going to figure it out eventually. Maybe. But he's busy with more important things right now. Down. Hold up. I think it's clear. Let's move. Okay, lead the way. They're going to be looking for you soon. It's only a matter of time before they find the room empty. And sound the alarm. I think they want me more than you. If they spot us, don't be afraid to leave me behind. That's not going to happen. That's Eleanor's place. There's a lot of activity all of a sudden. That woman with the shotgun reminds me of like one of the like, this. like guard people from the uh, from Half Life. No way. Come on, let's get inside. Get inside then, Abby. Please. Impression like they're gonna do like a try and do like a public execution or something. I just got the feeling like when Joan said about she was gonna announce it in the square in front of all the townspeople, like that they're gonna go for a public execution. Almost as like set an example of why you don't cross the new order try and keep but deter others from doing the same keep others in line almost we'll see it's just my gut feeling on this at the minute so look mandatory Richmond Richmond presentation at dawn In David's chances all of a sudden.
way. Hey, buddy. It's good to see you, Avi. Really, your goofy face and everything. It's great to see you, game. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Yeah, well, things have changed. I just can't do this now. Has Gabe changed his mind, then? Oh. Hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey. <clears throat> Where have you been? Joan threw me and David in jail, if you can believe it. Great. So you gave these people more reason to hate us. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? We just can't trust Joan. She's trying to remove David from power by pinning murders on him. Told you we couldn't trust him. I want to go save my dad. Right now. Mm. He needs our help. We need a plan first. Javi. Make sure it's the way to go. Good. The last time you scrapped the plan and got yourself caught. Fair enough. So we gotta make sure we don't screw this up. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Oh. Holy shit. Uh-oh. Javi. That is not even good. Even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Wow. As much as I don't want to be here. You sure are glad we didn't stumble into that on our own? <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. A lot of zombies. Can you imagine? I'm not sure it's much safer in here. Yeah. I think the entire world's fucked right now. It seems like we're in danger Survival within this place escape. and without. I, for one, would feel a I whole lot out. safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That's the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. If we're really going to make it out of here, we have to be ready to shoot our way out, right? Yeah, right. Good. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. I can take us. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. They're like a family. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but... I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It, it's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. You know what I mean? It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. Yeah, I'm sorry, if it's, buddy. Look, I just I don't know what to do. In an apocalypse situation. With all that's going on here, everybody's feeling overwhelmed. Try to wait for the right time. Maybe she'll come around. <sighs> uh-huh. Right. Okay. Good luck out there. Give it time. I'll that talk might it over be, uh, with Eleanor and watch not be over the best here. sort of. Um, You've got my word. Hmm. I won't let anything happen. Well, it'll be the best sort of advice Thank given you. the Hi, um, situation. Good luck. There might be no other time to get overwhelmed by zombies or a new frontier find them. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't the best advice. Stay alert. Be careful. You'll be fine. Okay. This will be great. We got this. Slow down, buddy. I've done this before, Avi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? 
What do you mean, Abby? Not everybody in New Richmond is bad. Some of them can be trusted. Seems like it's hard to know who to trust. It's not easy. Even your father got fooled. How do we know if we can trust him? We can't. But that doesn't mean we can just kill him. Okay. We don't want to make any noise and attract any attention. Hey, I can go talk to him while you sneak inside. I'll distract him. You won't do anything to me. I'll tell him I saw something suspicious. Well, that's a good idea, Gabe. I, I can do this. Hey! Oh, hey. I saw something. Show me. That was, um, he was easily convinced, wasn't he? Jeez. And then the door opens again and somebody else comes out the door. Those um, metal detectors aren't active. <laughs> Thought that was Gabe. So what's he done with the bloke? Told you it would work. Good work, buddy. Loading down a back alley and he's nowhere to be seen. How dodgy is that? It's down here. The guns are through that door. The door locked. is locked. No time to look for a key either. Event. I have to do this the hard way. more noise every with every hit. I totally agree. Baseball bat. Put these in your bag. Jeez, just get the kid the gun. You'll at least take like the magazine out and unload it before you give it to him. Deathwish! What's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. Yeah, we do. Drop it. What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing with all that? Trying to help. I know you're pissed at me, but I want to do the right thing. For your brother. For him, for the rest of my family, for everyone. Yeah. It was a shit thing to do. Fucking off on me like that. I know. I. Why didn't you meet me at the stronghold? We had a plan. I just can't be a part of what's going on in New Richmond. The lying and the stealing. You sound just like your brother. I know he'd want me to help you, no matter what. But why should I trust you now? 
As far as I can tell, you're nothing but trouble. Because what Joan is doing is wrong. I guess I can't really say no to that. And it looks like you could use all the help you can get. Awesome. I gotta grab something else real quick. Meet me by the front at five. Okay. Doesn't look too convincing that she like really wants to help us, but take it. What is that? He doesn't look like he's like New Frontier. Javi, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. You're not dead yet. I'm so sorry. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. <laughs> Let me Wait see that wound. Way to have Fay favor. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. <laughs> Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a little scratch. Nothing too major. I'm not sure I would have left the knife behind, but... Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? <laughs> Ava's like a... Like he's been down the shooting range and like a proper expert. Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Looks like the doctor's uh, <gasps> that looks like high it must on drugs, though. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Looking for something? Sort of. I know this looks bad, but it's not like... It's not like what? Yeah. I'm just here to talk to Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb Clearly he's alive. You can freaking hear him snoring. Christ. <laughs> That's going to need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually. In much worse conditions. You'll be fine. What was you saying, Mika? Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. <clears throat> Clem. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then 
things change, but <laughs> it'll be okay. okay. They're wearing caps to say, make America great again. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Ben's obviously, like, not that old then, is she? You give him a bitch slap. Here we go. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. What got me kicked out of camp? No thanks. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. We got the option there to uh, keep the penicillin. The Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. I'll be completely honest, it didn't look very sterilized. I know. We slap him. Wake up. Talk to me. Nope. Wow. That guy is really out of it. He has well act. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. Think I remember how to do this. Think? Okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say I was a natural-born mother. Yeah, I think you're, you're probably similar to us. I mean, we don't natively have aircon in um, our houses and stuff here. When it's hot, you have to suffer. <laughs> but we're in really rubbish weather at the minute, so... It's a butterfly! <laughs> Goofball, want another? <laughs> Which one to do next? Hmm. How about... Caw! Caw! <laughs> Is that our dinner? That's a pretty good bird. Honey! Always used to do that one for Duck. He'd laugh his ass off. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you? No, we just have central heat and we don't have air conditioning. So, yeah. Just a second, goofball. Voila. Get away from him! Or out of here. Is he okay? Shh. Still not bitten, little guy. You know. First time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. 
Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. Grateful for what you're doing. Always putting him first. You've done as much for AJ as I have. Rebecca would be grateful for you, too. Yeah, but you're the only mama he's got. Protective, loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. But parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. <laughs> That's for sure. That kind of love. It's worth dying for. I guess that's what Katya felt when Duck. Oh. Humid. Now that was a. Uh. Well, let me have a quick check on my weather. But normally, humidity is like quite high over here. Um. I don't think it shows it on my. I've got a new weather app. I don't think it shows it on here. I know where I come from. Uh, my workouts. Uh, I mean, I went out at, um, what was this, 8.30 this morning for my morning walk, and it was, the humidity at that, at, at, at opposite this morning was 84%. I mean, it was only granted it's only like 16 degrees but it's always we, we get quite high humidity here oh kids as sick of the cold as i am so i've been thinking but i'm with the eye patch no kenny looks like solid snake hoping that wellington will take us solid. in someday i bet we find some good people down in florida maybe even a little friend for this goofball wouldn't that be nice we could use the company. Hell, I know I could. AJ could use a friend his own age. I remember when you and Duck used to color together back at the motel. Helped him forget about all this. For a moment, anyway. I'm sure it helped you, too. Life doesn't mean much without people you can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. She was right. I'm sorry for all this sappy shit. Kenny yeah, wants to be I'm a family. Happy? Huh. First time in a while. All right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. <laughs> How Is about generic this one, giggle? little man? <laughs> We've got each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. And now you're all separated and disbanded. Yikes. Yeah, I can imagine. It's literally like one month later after losing Kenny and AJ as well. That's rough.
Goes rustling outside. Goes out to uh, investigate. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Well, she hasn't mentioned anything yet since really? we met her at, uh, with Lingard. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. I know. I'm sorry, too. I didn't want to piss anyone off, but I had to help AJ. None of this has been easy for you. I know. Well, yeah, we only know Look, what um, David has much, told us, and he's hinted, but we don't know. We haven't actually seen any proof, though. Beans. A picture from AJ. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you. It calmed him down. This. Thank you. I'm not sure they killed AJ as the same ring to a death wish. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering. We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. I can make it on my own, just like I always have. I don't need anybody else. I don't blame you. Just don't overestimate what you're actually capable of. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Oh, Made me feel like worth it. a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. Even though they're all bent and corrupt, You'll find right? yours. I know you will. Someone or something. They're out there. You people stole mine. You know that. You'll just have to find something new that... Shut the hell up. Oh, grow the hell up, kid. You think this was easy for any of us? You're not the only one suffering. We all are. You're just not adult enough to make the tough decisions. You're gonna have to accept this world for what it is sooner or later. Whatever, Ava. Just leave me alone. There's that stubbornness again. I came here thinking we could find some common ground. I don't want to be wrong. Let's at least not leave things on a bad note this time. What do you say? Please, Clem. Thank you. Just leave me alone now, please. Good luck out there, kid. It's a hard situation though, because I know she's part of the New Frontier, but it's not actually her that made the decision. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. So, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. Nice work. Thanks. Just glad I could help. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier, thought you were rotten in a cell with David. I don't know. They're all bent and corrupt. I don't 
particularly like him or trust them. So. I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Really? Took personal responsibility for that kid. Okay, this is sort like of, it's a good thing. This is like what sort of what I was talking about when we saw that like beginning bit where David was all about abandoning his family because he couldn't cope, but I think the apocalypse and being separated from his loved ones has actually made him realise that it's taken for him to lose them to realise what he's actually got, kind of thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. Clem can be the judge of that. She doesn't need to be. As a doctor, I'm telling you, he's in better shape now than when I first saw him. That was because he was sick. He would have stayed sick too if I had listened to you, doctor. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about then. You... You want to know where the boy is? Well, yeah. What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Mm, no, do it Why don't you do it yourself? I, I can't. I'm a fucking coward. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without I'll just him draw some up, but then the syringe is empty now. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. I just feel like if I do it, somebody's going to see me and then I'm going to be in a whole lot of trouble. Javi, I have to know. I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <laughs> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ. Just... Not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Jones rounding up all those alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. What the fuck are you doing here? She's with me. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. Gonna find out what happened to AJ yet. 
I'd rather leave him waiting a little bit longer. Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks bit awkward for the between trip and hour, though. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh She's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. Yeah, Giddy. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Huh. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. You just made his day. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. Wasn't. It's got to be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? He was definitely not 100% there. That's for sure. Sounds about right. Why don't you go talk to Kate? Okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just because they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. We have to help my dad. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now, how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. We light the match, the people do the rest. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, Where's Jesus? I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are going to be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing? Nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? If. Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard no. came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. Oh, I thought you guys Gabe. were going to be careful out there. Hey, well, I didn't choose the Gabe don't option. Worry about it. Wow. It is what it is. I thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me We're a gun and I'll do whatever. Dad. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to Believe say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit. I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. 
I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save Dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. No way anybody is dying. Not today. That's why we have to take the time to talk it through, so everybody comes out okay. Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your Slow life down, is precious. Boy. Slow it down. Now you've got a gun and everything. Life is precious? Please. Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. I saved your life, too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. You let me think the walkers had killed him. He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was going to shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he was <laughs> I know, <crazy>. right? <laughs> he would have pulled the trigger. No question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? What? I it's think you need to give Good us job, some space, Javi. Fuck Good job, Gabe. I don't want to see you ever again. Good well, maybe job. I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. Hell, we stick around you much longer. You'll probably kill us too. Fuck off. All of you. If you don't think I fucking agonized about it, then you can all go to hell. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. Yikes. Learn to keep your mouth shut, Gabe. Jeez. Clem, you come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. Keeping watch is an important job, too. Not as important as getting that truck. Hey, Gabe, come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, soon change your tune there, didn't you? Yeah. Right, he's definitely got his like what? dad's temper and his Nothing. dad's jealousy. Gabe and I will be fine back here. See a lot of his dad in him. He just I don't know. Just seem, seem to have problems with uh, Javi for some reason. What do you want, Javi? I know it sucks sometimes, but you've got to be a team player. It's about thinking of everyone. I get it, okay? Just quit treating me like a kid all the time. <laughs> I know he just sort of, I don't know, he kind of, he kind of goes to, like one minute he's like getting on with Gay, uh, Harvey and everything's good, and then the next minute he's like, Completely opposite, like he's bipolar or something. I don't know. Really weird. Gotta be careful. Anyone worth those pushing? Those boards won't hold up. And don't flash your light at them and bring attention. Jeez. Hmm. This thing looks like it moves too slow for an escape. 
Yeah, but we could use it to like board, like hold the bar boards maybe. I thought about that, Abby. What's going on? Thanks. For what? Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. Yeah, we all are. I'm just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. Well, if it's a big ass truck like she said, it's like, seriously. But it's not going to be that hard to find, is it? Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. Pretty relatable to most people, though, I guess. Right? There it is. Let's go. You're looking for a truck, though, and like you're like looking around like big diggers. Clearly, the digger is not the truck you're looking for. It's just like, why waste your time? Just like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna stand here and um, just look at this big digger. And... What are the chances? I'd say about fifty-fifty. Zombie. On it. Smart ass. Hell yeah. This graveyard shift is killing it. Oh, let me get some air. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. You steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. Really? See if we can't get some distance. Big like couple of ton there. truck, and you're gonna just gonna push it, right? With you and two kids. Ready? Ready. Ready. Yo, what's Paul, Paul Punky? Got some keys to strike it up. Just saying. Turns out you needed me after all, huh? Oh, I'm just saying. I know you didn't want me to come along. If I'd stayed behind, maybe we wouldn't have been able to get the truck. I'm glad you were here. Okay. At least you can admit it. Yeah. Well, it turns out you're pretty useful when you actually follow the directions. Pushing this truck. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. Sure they will. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. I've been like movies and games, everybody okay. knows how to hotwire a car. Even though chances are they probably would never like have done it ever before. Go on, Doctress. Almost there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? Paul Ponky, expert, uh, the office. expert, uh, and I will look out for cast workers. dealer there. Okay. Well, that was good. I'm going through to final. So, uh, it's all good. The starter wire. Hmm. 
Start uh, with the battery, maybe. Got to connect the battery to the ignition. All right, he's going to tell me what to do. That's good. Uh, I don't actually know myself, Paul Ponky, to be honest. Doctress, I don't think we've got too much more left to go on this tonight, to be fair. We've got like one more, one more section anyway, so. There's normally six, and that's the end of five, so. But, uh, glad you enjoyed the stream earlier. Hopefully, tomorrow we can um, close in on the end of that. The square is a couple of blocks away. I don't think we're a million miles off the end now, so. Do we Not have too enough bad gas? After, you know, full stream well, already. To turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So. We're just gonna chill in a massive ass truck in Richmond. Sit yeah. And watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got. And hope that nobody. Uh, I'm teaching you to play euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat. Thanks, again. Doctoress. Appreciate the uh, support. Really takes you back. Thanks again it? for the. Um, just you and me and Gabe. And You've all been awesome just recently. Better times. Ah, yes. The days of scrubbing up Chuck out of the upholstery. <laughs> I don't miss that. I never realized just how much kids could knock vomit into the trunk of a car with them 24/7. Didn't knock. Or a C Pogo. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He light likes her. You get it? Well, okay, I sort of am. Okay, so I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. It's all good, make it, don't worry. I think their first official day will be target practice. Everybody has their own schedules and their own things to do in life, so I don't expect anybody to ever turn up to a stream. It's just a bonus if you can. Normal, you know. Everybody's support just recently with like the subs and the the bits and everything has just been fantastic. Like I can't put into words how much support you guys have been giving me just recently, and you know, really uh, appreciate it. Just ban everybody doesn't turn their stream. But to feel something that intensely for another person, kind of like the best drug there is. Hey, the falling in love is the easy part. It's the staying in love part that'll really mess you up. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. <laughs> it's spamming my face all over could Twitch. Have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. They deserved better than this. That's why we're doing this thing, right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I hope you know, Javi, having you there with me, right by my side, all this time, that's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. Am I? You didn't run away. You could have. But you didn't. I'm here so I can set an example for people. For Gabe especially. Someone to be proud of. Someone who sticks around. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this. 26 so pages to go. Say it. Wow. I know we've had moments. You and I. 
And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. But before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know. Whatever I love you. Thing is between us. I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more. I saw David. We're in the truck. Let's drive through the gates and plow through the horde and forget about everybody, right? Way, I'd really like to know before things Well, we've been building crazy. it up to sort of like have a relationship with her, so. Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So are we gonna... Ooh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. And I hope he can handle it. I know he's good under pressure, but this is different. Yeah. Here's hoping he doesn't completely <laughs> flip out. By protection, do you mean like take a gun with you? Life, maybe he'll cut us a break. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front Cold of the whole crowd. Cold it. You gotta get over here now. Don't. I freaking called it. See it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square. Shit. We gotta get over there now. Had a bit of a kiss, Deathwish. I'm going to hang back here with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. They're right again. Look, get a room. Jeez. Nothing get else a room. room. Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. We can't get distracted. I don't know what happened on the other side, but it doesn't change what we have to do. I just wish we had a little more information. That's all. We're not going to know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? We just have to remember, not everyone in Richmond is a bad person. You're right. We're not trying to hurt anyone out there. At least, not anyone who's on our side. But who's on our side? That's the question. Hi, Dr. Snow. Catch you tomorrow, buddy. Have a good one. Hold it. David Garcia has to be punished for what he's done. Shit. We can't wait for the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. Oh, yes. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in... lying to all of you. I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered this man in cold blood. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. Try to keep your cool. Joan's smart, but we're smarter. We just have to be careful. We can't I'll be good for some worms tomorrow, Deathwish, since um, I'm actually starting at. Uh... I heard you were planning to 
crash proper party. proper time. How did you come on up here? But Show just not tonight. It's so getting a little bit late, buddy. I'm sure these Definitely people would tomorrow, like though. to hear what you have to say. Happy to. Been waiting for this all day. Then I'll try not to disappoint you. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend Eleanor last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. Wow. She said you were coming here to rally the people against me. Convince them that I was no good for Richmond. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. Considering it's all of us against the three of you. Eleanor doesn't know what she's talking about. She knew an awful lot of details about how you were going to pull it off. She was happy to share. Especially after I promised her she could stay in Richmond. I can't believe Eleanor did that to us. Believe it. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no. They had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you yeah. spare one of them. Just MVP one. still. No, no, no. Don't! Don't! Or MVS. Most valuable store. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. If you're gonna punish anyone, it should be me, not them. So ready to sacrifice yourself for others. Don't worry, Javi. I'm not through with you yet. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to kill all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys. Wow. Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend or your brother's lieutenant? Oh, come on! This is fucking stupid. You can't be serious. God damn you, Joe. Um do the right thing, Javi. How could you do this? Well, Ava was helping us. Trip had washed his hands with us. Sorry, Let Trip. Ava live. She's always been loyal. Javi! No! Well, there's the Javi I know. Backstabbing, double-crossing, no good, dirty fucking murderer. Such language. But I admire the sacrifice you're making here, Javi. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. Joan, think about what you're doing. Ava's one of us. You can't fucking do this. This is fucked. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. Man, she's power crazy. Joan. No! No! Oh my god. They really shot her. Oh, god damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Papa Clint. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Javi. You know what's going to happen here. You ready for that? Everyone thinks about things too much in this, in in this universe. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're gonna Chip handle Clint. this 
peacefully. Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch. Take her out. She deserves it. If you don't do it, I fucking will. Let me out of here. I'll tear her apart. Go to hell, Joan. Screw you. Yes! Maybe it'll still be probably arsey with me. But Son of a bitch! Get back here! Gay, I need you to cover me. We gotta make things right. Okay. No sucker. Dad needs us. We gotta get out there. It's not thinking right. What's worth more? His revenge or your life? I think you're right. Oh, Trip's got a solo. He's just like behind us. Not really doing much. Thomas Frank. <laughs> nice driving, Kate. It's Kate. She's coming for us. Oh yeah, like, she'll see you through the smoke, clearly. Bang. Bang. Oh god! Javi, you've got to get over there before- Yeah. Well, I think it's fair to say that things certainly escalated towards the end of that episode, didn't it? Um, hmm. I don't really know what to make of it, really, to be fair. I mean, I pretty
pretty much called the whole execution thing right at the beginning of the episode. I just thought, like, the, the way Joan spoke and then the way it looked like they were building some sort of stage and some sort of podium kind of gave me the vibe that they were going to, like, hang him or do some sort of public execution. So that wasn't really too much of a surprise for me. Um, it wasn't even really too much of a surprise that, you know, Joan almost double-crossed after making some decisions. Um... A little bit surprised that like the people weren't more shocked and horrified by everything that was going on, like with the the killings and the shootings and things. Because as um, Clint or Clint or Cliff, Clint um, said, um, it's not the way they deal with things. They normally just exile people and throw them, like, put them outside the gates and, and kick them out. Whereas clearly, what Joan was doing is like she's trying to take things and deal with things in her own way and she has the power she wants to control everything and what she says goes and everybody needs to um sort of um be on my team or else i'm gonna kill you basically which I'm quite surprised at like people's reactions another thing i noticed as well was um you know eleanor she was like clearly she's thrown us under the bus because she'd had that um chat with joan and divulged all our plans to her and she's like, blah, 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 yeah, I'm with the New Frontier, now, now, now. But then when I chose Ava, she was almost like, but how could you do that? Well, seriously, how have you got the right to say that to me, um, Eleanor, when you've thrown me under the bus? Like, honestly, come on. You're the one that screwed everything up here by divulging our plan and um, screwing everybody over. I mean, interestingly enough, though, although Eleanor's kind of like in the crowd, it's almost like she thrown Trip under the bus though as well because like Trip was there like as a prisoner I wonder if that's like um, a knock on effect for telling Trip to sort of like like approach her and, and like try and you know tell her, of, her his feelings and like get like become an item with um, Eleanor I wonder if that's kind of like that because clearly they weren't together and that whatever deal she'd arranged wasn't for her and Clint uh, her and Trip it was just for her so yeah um clearly a lot happened there towards the end um david's obviously run off to try and get revenge on whoever is still alive and kate it's not looking too good for kate let's be honest um i mean yeah there was that explosion it's blowing a hole in the wall i mean the truck's not on fire so there's a chance she's still alive but to be fair there is a lot of walkers coming through that gap so her chances are going to be very slim. But guys, we will find out what happens tomorrow night in the finale of Frontier. I hope you can join me at uh, the regular time of 9.30pm. BST will carry this on and uh, see how we can end up. We'll also be back tomorrow lunchtime with a Portal 2 stream. Uh, carrying on some more brass boulders. And we are almost, I think, towards the end of that. Maybe tomorrow can be the day where we can finish that one off. So uh, come by, say hi if you are able to. But if not, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming. And my end stream button is on. Rip.